So a story that not a lot of people know is that when Onnit was in its infancy and we were messing around with some different formulas, I came to you and I said, Joe, what would be the formula that you would like the most, that you would use the most? And you said, you thought about it for a second, and you said, a nootropic. I'd like a cognitive enhancer. I said, okay, and got to work. Started talking to the doctors and medical professionals I knew, started doing the research, started going back and knowing what had worked for me, talked about what had worked for you, and then some six to eight months later, we had a sample batch of what was going to be Alpha Brain. And it's been a really wild ride and an interesting story since then. So take us through some of your perspective from that very first sample of Alpha Brain to kind of now what it's become and how it's been a part of your life. Well, I got into nootropics because of Bill Romanowski's formula. He had a thing called Neuro One that I believe had a little caffeine in it as well. And he had developed it because he was having some problems with concussions. And uh, I tried it, and that introduced me to the world of nootropics. And then I started dabbling with all these different, various individual ingredients. And uh, when you put together Alpha Brain, it was the first time that I ever had said any, anything where I, I really felt like I didn't want to do anything without it. Yeah. Like, I felt like if I was going to do stand-up, if I was going to do the UFC, like, I wanted to be fully charged, you know, because... What I noticed when I started taking it is one of the immediate things that I noticed was that I had a better recall of words. That's the frustrating thing where you're like, what is the word, what is the word, what is the mm -hmm. word? That wasn't happening as much. And my ability to form sentences seemed smoother. It seemed like I had an extra gear, like I was one step ahead of conversations. And, and interestingly enough, that's one of the tests that showed statistical significance in our little pilot study was verbal memory. So recalling words and being able to use your vocabulary. It's 100% legit. If I go to a UFC and I don't have Alpha Brain, I panic. <laughs> I really do. I remember running to you with yeah. a couple sticks of 180. It's not a joke. You, you know, I'm, I'm, I take it before every podcast. I, I even oftentimes take it on the air just to let people know, like, I really take this. Yeah. And everybody I know that I've given it to, everybody I know that I've, you know, that I, that I trust their opinion and I've had them try it, they all have the same result. They, they, they say, this does something. It gives me, like, some boost, some mental boost. It just makes sense, and it's it's kind of a fascinating thing because there's a lot of people that they look at things like nootropics or vitamins and nutrients, and one of the things that gets tossed around, which is kind of hilarious, is the term pseudoscience. But snake oil, yeah, snake oil is another one. <laughs> but pseudoscience is one of the f most hilarious ones because how do you think these things got extracted? Like, they got extracted because of science. Right. Like, it's not pseudoscience. It's, a it's actual science. Like, there's only one way you're going to get choline or vitamin B12 or any nutrient. You're going to have to get someone who's way fucking smarter than you figure out how to make yeah, this stuff. Totally. And th this is, th these aren't, like, imaginary compounds that people have invented on their own and then tried to sell as snake oil. These are actual nutritional supplements that are actually parts of food and these extracts have been proven to be beneficial. Sure, take the example of the alpha brain and in it has, is a compound called Huperzia serrata which is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. So it prevents the breakdown of acetylcholine. If you didn't know that the brain needed acetylcholine and that was a neurotransmitter and you didn't know that there was something called an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor, you would never know to search this exotic club moss out of some pond in China as it was naturally growing. And of course they did find that and they found the way that it had these compounds, huperzine A, huperzine B, huperzine C, which actually help give the brain the ability to have more ready available acetylcholine. And one of the effects of that, of course, is the mental sharpness, the focus, the memory, some of the things that you're talking about. But one of the interesting things that we didn't really realize is it affects your dreams, too. And that was from the first sample batch. You know, we would just be like, hey, do you have crazy dreams? <laughs> and then we started looking because we weren't targeting dreams. No. But it's just something that kind of came out. And then everybody we gave it to was like, man, my dreams were insane. If we sold Alpha Brain not as a cognitive enhancer, but as a dream supplement, uh, I, I think we would tap into a whole other market of people that just want to yeah. freak out when they go to bed. <laughs> because it provides you, the way I've described it is, I've had lucid dreams in the past, but they're like a child's bubble. Like when they blow bubbles, you touch the bubble and they pop instantly. Mm -hmm. But this one was made out of basketball material. <laughs> it's like, that's what these dreams are like. They're bubbles, but they don't break. Like you can bounce them around. Like mm -hmm. you're in the dream, realizing you're in a dream. But 
I've never done any studies on lucid dreaming. I've never disciplined myself to try to learn how to lucid dream. But taking Alpha Brain, I've been able to do it just in a, on a, in a natural way, which is a, kind of a freak out. Yeah, it's an interesting phenomenon. And what we found is that Alpha Brain, which helps in, you know, nourish the body's acetylcholine by providing raw alpha glycerol phosphorylcholine, one of the raw nutrients, and the acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. So it's getting it two ways. By having more acetylcholine, acetylcholine helps regulate the REM state in your sleep. So the more acetylcholine you have, the deeper and broader your REM state is going to be from the people doing the latest research in the, in, in the dream world. And so <laughs> what we end up getting is exactly that, this broader, tougher, more, like you said, like a basketball thick uh, REM state, which is the state in which you're dreaming, and it allows you to really play around and, and do some cool stuff. And there's certainly benefit to having a deeper REM state. There's benefit to getting deeper, more restful sleep. Mm -hmm. And I've felt that as well. When I take Alpha Brain, besides the freak out of the dreams, I wake up just feeling a hair more refreshed than I would mm -hmm. normally.